Hi guys, and today I'm going to be bringing you um, another episode of my series, Cheap and Easy. And I believe we're on the sixth method now, so we're getting quite far into this series. And today's method is all about silver players. So to do this method, you need to go on the transfer market on the web app, search quality gold, maximum price either 150 or 200. And then when you search, you're going to be looking for those rare silver players. And you might have to skip through a few pages... Um, and then when you find them, you want to bid 200 coins, because when you win them, and then you can quick sell them to make profit, around about maybe 30, 50 coins if you're lucky, on each player as profit. What is brilliant to get that much profit? But before we jump um, more into the episode, I'd quickly like to say um, I'm sorry about recent uploads. I haven't been um, uploading every other day as I normally do. But that's because I've had a lot what's going on recently. I've had a lot of sport and a lot of homework. And basically I've been really busy, so I haven't been able to upload. But from now on, I'm going to be uploading every other day. So today on Saturday, then Monday, and then um, Wednesday, and then Friday. And then obviously you get the picture. So as you can see on the screen, I'm just searching for players, bidding on um, players when it comes up. So sometimes, because um, of the EA services here, they're pretty poor. You might want to change the maximum price between 200 and 150. As you can see on the screen, it doesn't always let you search. Um, that just helps me. I think I, f I find that helps because this year the EA services have been particularly poor. And um, I hope you um, have enjoyed this series. If you have, then leave a like. Um, go check out... Um, um, some other videos, um, other methods, I mean, from this um, series. There, I've shown you a lot of methods. I rec I actually do reckon, though, this is the best method so far. Because it doesn't take that long. Because when you bid on them, you only have to wait, say, maximum minute or two until they expire. And then you can just quick sell them instantly. And then just go out and do the method again. So, and... you. It's not very hard to do. Anybody can do it. You just need to put in the right criteria on the transfer market. Just need to have about 1,000 coins, and then you'll end up getting more coins. You can do it with more players and more players. I hope you enjoy this method because I, I, I've made an awful lot of profit, and I find it's only this method will only really work when um, when team seasons are out, when the transfer market has crashed. You um. I find also it probably works best at night, um, later on in the day. I've tried it a few times in the morning and I haven't been able to find any players or win any players. But I tried it um, Friday night and um, I won a few players then. Actually, I won loads Friday night and got a lot of money from that. But um, I'm also doing this trading method on Saturday night. And I just it just seems like there's more players to win on the market. I don't know what it is, whether... Um, People are just opening up packs, listing them on the market, looking for those team season players. Don't really care how much they go for. And then nobody else is on the market bar you, so you're picking up lots of bargains. And that is another thing, guys. There are lots and lots of bargains to find on the transfer market, especially with team and season now. Like, um, in the last episode, I showed you about BPL informs. Um, I actually, on my other account, I bought a Sterling for 25k. And just after a few days, he's already up to 32k, I believe. And I reckon after the market crash, he'll be up to about 80k. So that could earn me a lot of profit. And this this method, that method does work as well as this. But um, this method's more about doing it, like, really quick. And you don't have to wait as long. And um, it's profit more instantly. I mean, as in you don't have to wait until the market crashes over. I do reckon, though, um, if you guys don't know about the market crash, the players will not go back up to their normal price, but you can still earn a little bit of profit. So I'm going to meet you guys back in a bit to see what players I've won and then what profit I've made and how much they've um, how much they quick sell for and how much I've spent. Right, guys, I'm back again. And as you can see, I've... Um, I had picked up more players, but I made it five players because then it's easy mass for you guys to work out how many you could, um, how much profit you could have made. Um, just going on average, if you, because you, you guys would probably want to do this with more players. So 
you can see there are a few pacey guys I've managed to pick up there. What's probably actually quite unusual because most pacey people, people, what well, I mean, people search for pacey players, and they normally go for more. But as you can see, I've picked up a few 68 rated players, and a 67, and a 65, and a 66 as well. So I, I have spent a total of 1,000 coins on five players bidding 200 and all of them and then the money I've got back is 1170 coins and then as you can see in the bottom left hand corner of your screen I've made a profit of 170 coins that's going to be the end of the episode guys I hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new um leave a like and I'll see you all next time bye eu quero tchau. eu quero tchau.